A strange noise in the middle of the night is something that can make even the bravest homeowners a little nervous. Most of the time it's just the house settling or the family cat fussing around in the litter box. Other times, however, it's something more threatening. When Idaho residents Brittany Bush and her husband were suddenly woken up by a loud noise one evening, the frightened couple instinctively thought burglars had broken in. Then Brittany walked into the garage and she couldn't help but shriek in horror at what she saw. After a loud noise woke them around 4 a.m., homeowners Brittany Bush and her husband feared burglars had broken into their Idaho Falls, Idaho home. Unfortunately, the reality was much more unusual and it would soon leave Brittany screaming in horror. It was the middle of the night and Brittany, her husband, and their young son were sound asleep. They lived on a quiet neighborhood street and things there were usually very peaceful. On this night, however, they heard a sudden crashing sound. Startled awake, Brittany and her husband searched the house. Had someone tried to break in? Thankfully, it seemed the coast was clear and they went back to sleep. The following morning, however, Brittany went into the garage. When she opened the door, she screamed. Brittany couldn't do anything but stare in horror at the mess inside of her garage. All of the family's belongings were lying in shambles in the middle of the garage. Surely this was the source of the loud noise during the night. That's when Brittany took a closer look. As I was pushing the garage door open, my right foot was stepping into the garage and just kept going down, Brittany explained. I was holding onto the garage door and looked down and just started screaming. I'm like, our whole garage is sunk down. It didn't take long for the family's neighbors to find out what had happened. People slowly trickled by throughout the day to survey the damage. They were all shocked by the hole and everyone naturally wanted to know how it got there. As Brittany and her husband investigated their garage, they discovered what might have caused the problems. There was actually another room beneath their garage. It really wasn't a sinkhole at all. It was a mysterious room they would never knew even existed. Inside this mysterious room were shelving units that still had somebody's belongings on them. Everything was covered in a thick layer of dust and weathered from years of neglect. Brittany and her husband moved in closer to investigate. As it turns out, there were plenty of interesting things on the shelving units. The first one that stood out to the couple was the large number of glass bottles. What were they used for? They had no idea, but they were going to keep digging. Brittany noticed several large boxes packed with old documents of some kind. The couple also realized that the walls of this hidden room were incredibly deteriorated, with mold and mildew filling nearly every crack of the cement siding. Strangely, the majority of the belongings in the room appeared to have been previously owned by children and a woman. There were plenty of kids toys as well as a woman's handbag a hand curler and a letter those weren't the weirdest items though most intriguing to Brittany and her husband was this one letter in particular the edges were tattered and the coloring had faded over the years but it was still very much intact they looked carefully at the smudged writing to see who it was addressed to interestingly enough it was addressed to a business called Mela Lucha the wellness company an online wellness company based in Idaho Falls that provided customers with a variety of health products. But why was the letter buried in their house? Brittany and her husband knew they were lucky. This was the extent of it. Naturally occurring sinkholes are often devastating. Still, they needed to get to the bottom of this one in particular. Once it was determined that they weren't in any immediate danger, Brittany's husband contacted their insurance provider. Shortly after, an insurance agent arrived to assess the scene. Along with him was an engineer. The Bushes initially thought that the room was a bomb shelter, but the engineer quickly shot down that idea. He was also surprised that it hadn't caved in sooner as the concrete was only two inches thick. That's not all he had to say. The insurance provider and engineer said, don't be alarmed if there's a body down there, Brittany told East Idaho News. We hope there's not, but if there is, stop what you're doing and call the police. Another strange detail about this discovery was that the mystery room didn't show up on any city or county records. There was no kind of paperwork at all that indicated the room was ever officially constructed. Brittany and her husband were incredibly lucky that no one was badly injured. Although it was all a bit scary, the couple did think the discovery was fascinating. The mystery of it all was clearly piquing the interests of people all over the area. Brittany and her husband are now in the process of looking through the debris and trying to determine exactly what purpose the area once served. Now, the next time they hear a loud noise in the middle of the night, they certainly won't go to bed until they find the source. As fascinating as this discovery was, you have to admit it's kind of spooky. 
Who knows what the couple will find in the mysterious underground secret cellar?